Should we do a update with Send It first? Send It will uh, has an update for us when it comes to his uh, weight loss. I'll call him. I'll call him. Hello, hello. Hello. Can you hear me? Yeah, what's up, man? How you doing? I'm doing good. What about you? I am doing all right. Just uh, got home and made a coffee, so things are getting better. Nice. What time is it? Uh, almost 1 p.m. Yeah. Uh, it, I did the gym a little bit earlier today. I've been doing it later in the day, but earlier it's not. I like it. Yeah. It feels like I get more done throughout the day. So how has your progression been? Let's start with that. Uh, it's good. We're down to, I think, 429 was Monday's weight. So right around 50 pounds. I think we're just at the 50 pound mark. 50 pounds um, down. Yeah. Isn't that how does and it then, feel? Uh, I feel so much better already. Like, just like even, I mean, there, there definitely are days now, especially, and it might just be because I'm getting older, but I, I feel uh, a little bit more sore than normal, but uh i my body feels better and i also started like really working on my cpap machine stuff like using that through the night so i feel better with that too better rested yeah yeah and that just having that alone made me feel a lot better but um nice definitely definitely the i i feel like I've, i'm a little bit more mobile it wasn't that i was e like immobile but i just feel better being out at the gym and stuff and like on my walks and Right. Trying to push it a little bit harder each day. And that is a really good, really good progression. I definitely am excited. Like, I, I've gotten to the point where I'm like, <laughs> it's not pissing me off because I know, like, it, uh, it's, I'm in this for the long haul, but, like, just knowing how much weight I got to lose is almost like, dude, <laughs> I'm never, I am never doing this shit again. No, I'm just over that. Yeah, let's hope you never need to do that. Yeah, yeah, that's I, I, I feel a lot better this time as far as um, just like my mental state with it, and I don't know if that's just because I'm older. Or like now, I got my nephew and stuff, so like I, I have something that's a little bit more important than just you know myself. So yeah, but it, whatever you find motivation in, it doesn't matter, right? We need yeah. to, uh, we, you just need to have that. This is how it's going to be for a long time now. Slowly, steady, just moving into the weight you want to be. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I was saying. I, I am so excited. I've been watching like some of your videos and like David Goggins and all that. And I just can't wait to get to a point where I can just be like, all right, I'm not so much worried about my weight as I am. I want to put on mu more muscle. I'm excited yeah. for that. So it's going to be uh, at one point. No, we'll definitely definitely get there, but I'm excited. What about the basketball and that kind of training? Have you? Uh... Oh, dude, I the first week of basketball, I it been like six, seven years since I even shot a basketball. Oh my god, I can't even the, the amount of times I shot and I airballed. I was like, okay, <laughs> basketball might not be the thing anymore. But then uh, it just like getting getting back into it and stuff. I feel way better now, so yeah but uh i i was i was gonna start like swimming like once or twice a week because the gym i go to has a pool yeah and i figured that that might take a little bit of stress like off my joints and stuff but anyway, we made sure. it 20 minutes in the sauna without melting so and now we can do that up. as well yeah yeah that's really I'm trying good. to think what else have you ever heard of uh ddp yoga I know who DDP is from wrestling, but I haven't. Uh, I, I've heard about him uh, doing some yoga, but I, I don't know more than the name. Okay, that was some somebody had brought up. Uh, they had like the subscription or the the DVD, however it it happens. Yeah. They have it, uh, and they sent it to me, and I think I'm gonna start like incorporating that too, just to like see how that does with with the weight loss. Because yeah. I've seen some videos, there's like some big dudes losing a good amount of weight doing it, but it, I figured like trying to do a little less stressful stuff might help. Yeah, but it, as I've said before, it doesn't matter what kind of movement you're doing. If you're doing yoga, DDP yoga, if you're doing basketball, if you're walking, it, it it's all about just doing something all the time. That That's what counts. 
that is the important thing if you want to do that yoga do that yoga if that doesn't if you find out okay i don't want to do this anymore well you have all the other things you can choose from yeah i did notice i like i'm finally at the point too because i remember last time we talked about like the cheat meal and like how i felt like crap the next day yeah. uh i had a uh, cheat meal with uh one of my friends uh, not too long ago and i while i was eating it i actively just felt like shit and i was like <sighs> i don't it's just not even worth it no I, I get that. Then I would have just chosen something like having a steak when you're out, having something like yeah. that, more more the pure meat, less yeah. fatty meat. You don't need to have the burgers and that shitty food. Just whatever. Yeah. Uh, if you like that better, well, then you do that instead. I did find a pretty good... Uh, that one brand of protein shake that I sent you, they had like a... Uh... Like, do you know what Dunkin' Donuts is? I've never been to it, but I've heard of it. But they have, like, that brand, and it's, like, a coffee-flavored protein shake, and then I just mix that with, like, uh, my coffee. I know Pretty what good. Dunkin' Donuts is because my daughter is a TikTok fan, and she, uh, one of the uh, biggest TikTokers in the world is promoting Dunkin' Donuts. <laughs> wait, <laughs> really? I didn't even know that. Uh, yeah. I don't remember funny. the name, but uh, they're... Uh... They're having a big campaign with Dunkin' Donuts for a long time. Main sponsor, probably. So we, uh, Dude, they're getting the bag. That's, oh. Uh, yeah. That's yes, that is the name Charlie D'Amelio. D'Amelio. Oh, yeah. She is promoting Dunkin' Donuts. So Louisa was when she we went. She probably got paid ridiculous for that, too. I would guess that we're so, talking some millions of millions oh, yeah. of dollars. God, that just makes me wish I would have gotten more into that stuff when I was younger. Like the vine, I miss vine. Yeah, I never, I one. never seen vine or used vine. Oh really? No. Oh, dude. Yeah, the it was it was basically. I think it was a better TikTok, but yeah. I mean, everybody you know likes different stuff. Maybe it was too uh, early. I do have a lifting question for you. Yeah. So I was doing like uh, triceps the other day, and uh, I was doing the overhead tricep pull. Yeah. When I come, when I get extended, do I come out like this, as the, if I was going straight down? The the thing is, the whole point of going out is just to extend the arm all the way. Okay. Like if when you're when you have your arm all the way straight, I don't think it's much more you can do. Like if you're pushing your wrist even more, wouldn't matter that much. But it's like you do that because then you if you stop here, you would do this to get all the way. Okay. That's basically it. Okay. All right, cool. Yeah, I just didn't know if that was something that I needed to do with that. And so trying to like retrain myself on how to lift too, because. Yeah. I don't know if I ever like really I mean in high school like I said I was kind of a dumbass and uh, liked making people laugh instead of actually listening to my coaches <laughs> uh, and so like trying to reteach myself how to lift too so <laughs> this whole getting older and it's not, not as fun I should have listened about that too <laughs> yeah the, the most important thing I will say when it comes to lifting that I would do to concentrate and if I was doing that was always controlling the weight instead okay. of uh, doing that, like this the movement where you just pull with your the muscle you're trying to do or push with the muscle you're trying to do instead of like, giving it momentum from the bottom if you can control the weight all the way it will be heavier but that's what you need to do okay you will stimulate the muscle just as good or even better yeah, I, I definitely am excited to get to a point where, like, I feel more confident with the just knowing, I, like, even, like, bench pressing. Like, I, I don't feel like I do it right as far as, like, I, I was always a big kid, so just, like, lifting heavy shit was just something that, like, I never thought about the actual, like, process of it. No. And so that's trying to, to learn that has yeah, been time. interesting. And it takes time. It takes some time doing that all because you need to practice the proper technique over and over and over again. Okay. Well, yeah. Uh, and would you recommend uh, like starting out just high reps, low weight, 
And that, is that just part of the learning the like the best way to lift and use the right muscles and stuff? It depends on what you're meaning by high reps. Like you can you can go for the ten plus rep range. That's uh, something you can do, and and maybe avoid trying to go down to the three around three. That that will be okay. too heavy. But you can go a little bit higher. Okay. Right, but 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 let's say let's say you're putting on because you want to like push yourself a little bit and you do you think you put on a weight you can do like ten times and you will fail at six it doesn't matter if that happens okay. but uh, but aim don't aim for the like really really low and just go for uh, max lifts I wouldn't do that okay all right cool yeah I figured I need to retrain my muscles too as far as before we get you know to the super heavy stuff yeah so i don't just rip something and end up on a tiktok <laughs> of me just laying down in a gym <laughs> no but this is the thing if you're controlling the weight the chances of you ripping something is really really small okay i would say that there's almost no chance so I, w I wouldn't be that worried as long as you have the control over the weight all the time. All right, cool. Yeah, so that should be fine. Uh, one of my buddies was telling me, um, because I, I mean, I've just, I, I've just been walking. Like, I don't really think about like incline or any of that stuff. And so they were saying like, trying to go like a little bit more incline each day might help with uh, the weight loss. Is that something that you, I mean, how do you feel about that? Uh, walking incline is just heavier, so you will use more calories, yes. Oh, okay. So you can All do right, that. Cool. And and it's supposed to be a little bit easier on the joints as well. Oh, so okay. Compared to walking, for example. Let, let's say try to walk downhill one time, and feel, you can feel that in your knees and your... Uh... <laughs> this last week I did a hill, and I know exactly what you're talking about. Oh, yeah, so then you know uh -huh. the difference. Cause like before I started hitting a decline, I was like, I was like, Hey, this, this part going down is going to be nice. We're going to get down there quick. And then I started going down. I was like, God damn, my knees are about to give out. I was like, I'm excited for going uphill now. Yeah. So, so that's, that's just good. You can add in more, uh, incline. Okay, cool. Yeah. I was thinking about doing like starting some like rowing for like cardio and stuff. Yeah, I did that today. I, I got on the died. damn bike in my, uh, I, my my man parts went numb and I was like that's probably not good so I was like <laughs> I'm not gonna I'm, I might not be doing too much biking for a you, while uh, maybe you need one of those bike shorts <laughs> with that pillow yeah. on <laughs> yeah I gotta figure something out cause that shit I was like I got off and I was like I don't think this is supposed to be like this and I was like I think I'm just gonna keep walking for now <laughs> man parts went numb that's a good one <sighs> and I was trying to think uh, the meal, I mean, I definitely think I might go back to our meal plan at some point because I, I got a box sent to me from a, a company and like I'm going to try their meal preps. But I think with like just making sure I'm getting the veggies and like the exact like I, I can check all my macros and calories with this, which I'm sticking with the calories. But like I know I'm not getting as much veggies as I was before. So I think that might be where I go back. Yeah. Uh, to what we were doing. I mean, as long as I'm losing, still, I'm I'm excited with that. But yeah, that's uh, the most important thing, as we talked about, is that you stick around to the uh, around the calories we set up, uh, and it's easier to, as you're saying, to fill up a little bit more if you add in more vegetables. Yeah. Yeah. So I, uh... yeah, I'm excited to get like uh, I bought some avocados. I I've been missing avocados, so yeah. Um, see how that goes, but yeah, I've I definitely feel like a lot better than what I did. So that's thank good you to hear. for what you've done. Oh, of course, of course. I this is what we I wanted to do, and uh, you are doing the job uh, yourself in, in the beginning. I mean, it definitely helps having you in the corner, though. So yeah, that's that's good to hear. I'm, uh, but but. In the beginning, you had some more questions. Now I feel like you uh, uh, are doing it more on your own. You're doing most oh, things. I... You're just asking some questions sometimes. That's it. A few times. Yeah, I'm excited to learn more of this stuff and 
hopefully like i mean it, it's already like passed on and like trying to help my sister and stuff because she's trying to lose weight and like just trying to like the amount of people like i want to help has definitely grown too is like at first it was like i gotta get my own shit figured out so i can help people but yeah. it's definitely cool knowing that it, it's it's helping others get in and in the gym and stuff yeah and when you get the knowledge you can give some advice as well yeah that'd be sick that'd yeah. be cool i honestly was thinking the other day i was like if my fat ass can ever lose enough weight i might look into like doing personal training stuff because like i feel like that would be cool to have been in the situation i've been in and lost the weight and yeah. like be able to help people like that so that that, that is uh, a good thing and then you're focusing on it a lot yourself as well and it's yeah. And it's an easy thing, yeah. Because now you just need to keep the habit. I feel like you just need to keep the habit of what the new habits you have uh, you have uh, gotten. That's it. Yeah. Uh, that. Oh God, I can't remember what I was, I was about to say. Something I can't remember. My message you later about it. I can't remember. Yeah. But yeah, the 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 habits has been nice to get used to. Like, I don't like before it wasn't that i like needed fast food but it was especially with like working the several jobs it just like the ease of not having to worry about going and cooking a full meal i think that's why i like it. the meal preps too is just like having it ready i feel like it makes it easier to make the better choices yeah that is true that is true um there was one thing I was thinking about asking. How, if if you compare now to when we started, just having the walks, how is the difference? How would you explain that? How the difference feels? Oh, I mean, like before, like I would worry about like if my feet were gonna be hurting, like just carrying my big ass around the the neighborhood and stuff, and like more so, just like it was it was a mindset of okay, I just need to get to thirty minutes. Yeah. Of, of walking and then we'll go from there if i feel good keep walking if not stop but now it's like i get to 30 minutes and it's like okay well i could probably do another 15 to 30 minutes you know do i want to go walking or do i want to play basketball it's like i am thinking of like other ways of like how to get work the workouts in yeah just because my body like yeah, i mean i'm sore like my uh, I, there's definitely days where i'm like sitting there with the machine or the little massage gun and i'm like okay i don't know if i'm gonna make it to the end of the day but <laughs> i definitely uh i've been been taking like cbd and stuff and Your that's been helping too always, so but i found this in the cracks in sofa nut <laughs> what did he say but yeah i definitely feel better on the on the walks that's a good term so that that I, I would say everything that you're doing now can just be continued okay you don't need to worry about anything at least if you feel like you can push further you can do that as well um, weight training just continue doing what you're doing add in a little bit all the time okay would you uh just with like the just starting out with this uh one of my buddies said like one day do push, one day do pull, like stuff like that. Is, is that something where just starting out, just yeah, that's just uh, getting can, some weights and you you can do that uh, the push pull uh, and then leg uh, workouts. Then you have okay. one day where you do all the push exercises. You do chest, you do triceps, you do shoulders, okay. and then one day you do biceps, you do maybe rear delts and uh, and back, and then one day with some legs, and then repeat. Okay with some right, cool. with a break in between that's okay. fine you, you, you can do that or you can do full body workouts if you want to do that instead it, it, it's uh, everything will Just work now doing something yeah but everything will work there there's so many ways of doing it that i've seen people do so uh, everyone has their own opinion on what they like best okay but that's a that's a good way of starting all right, cool. How are you, man? I appreciate it. And, How have uh, you been? I've been uh, good myself. A little bit sick of the winter, I have to say, but that's it. <laughs> I saw when I saw a guy like uh, it was like five o'clock the other day, and it was still sunlight. I was like, uh, this is my favorite time of the year when it starts getting lighter later in the day. Yeah. Does it get dark super early for you? 
Uh, now it isn't as bad as it has been, but uh, at uh, it's starting to be the days are starting to be longer at least. Yeah. It's still yeah. some minus degree Celsius, like twenty nine oh wow. Fahrenheit, but uh, and snow. But it's starting. We just to had a big more... snowstorm. Yeah. You had that as well. Yeah, it we're sp- I think next week's supposed to get down in like the teens. Which I was like, what? I mean, I'm cool with it being cold outside when I'm working out because it's not like, I don't know. I feel like my, I feel better yeah. um, than if it was like 95 and I'm trying to like, you know, sweat my way around the block. So I get that when it's that warm, but it's, it does it even get that warm here. I'm not sure. 95 oh, really? is warm. How many degrees? Uh, is, is that why you're now? thinking Texas? Get yourself some warm weather. Oh, yeah, a 95 F to C. Let me check how warm is that. Mm. Ah, that's like the max it ever gets. Just a few days a year. Oh, really? So that's... Uh, we don't You're about to have that all the time once you move. Yeah, that's going to be nice. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, but... Also, uh, I get a nice little tan on and... Oh, oh, yeah. yeah. We'll get some more sun at least. Oh, yeah. Um, do I have more questions for you today? I'm not sure. Oh. Do you have any more uh, questions? No, not really. I, you just, I think I might shoot you a couple questions, like, as I start getting more into the lifting and stuff, just to make sure that I'm doing stuff right and... <laughs> A guy in chat asked, where did you got your hat from? <laughs> oh, dude, uh, it's actually from a fat guy store over here in uh, Washington. It's called, like, DXL or something. <laughs> uh, dude, Honestly, uh, finding hats, on it, I just buy, if a hat fits, I buy it. Because my I have an eight and one-eighth hat, so, like, it, just finding hats is hard enough, so. You have a big head? If, yeah, I got it, yeah. <laughs> Better than having a too small head. I think a lot of the chatters have that. Dude, I wish. I'd have so many nice hats. <laughs> yeah. Send, uh, send him an Espa hat. <laughs> There's a local gas station that, are, that have uh, had this campaign for years where they sell buns. A lot of like different kinds of buns, like with cinnamon and everything, oh, okay. and they have their own uh, <laughs> own brand of merch. Really? They, uh, they had hats as well. <laughs> I mean, I'll rock it, but I, you know, if it, <laughs> I just make sure I won't be eating any of them. <laughs> we can ship you some of them as well. We'll be <laughs> rotten before they come over the sea. Uh, just do do a little review on it as a rotten. <laughs> oh, we're not. I mean, that'd be one way to not eat, you know, eat the the sweets and whatnot. So, yeah. All right, man. Well, yeah. I don't want to keep it too long. Thank you for chatting. And uh, no problem. Just uh, hit me up whenever you want, and send right, me cool. the questions, and I'll see you. All right, cool. You have, have a good rest of your day. Thank you. Have a good uh, day. All right, later, man. Goodbye. That was nice seeing him. I like that he has done so well. We need to give some claps in chat for Send It. I feel like he is doing uh, really, really well. 50 pounds. 50 pounds down. That is uh, a lot.